fans, who knew Devil Daniel's Monster Hunter was also Devil Daniel's prolific creator. Voila! What? You cannot be serious! My new wearable tank, created especially for my fish, Bethany, my pride and joy. It's a work of pure genius. It is my pure genius. You can pre-order my one-off unique fish holders by clicking on my bio. Jeffrey, he's taking credit for my idea. And he's making money from it. Oh, he's gonna regret this big time. Everyone, I have a situation that requires immediate attention. And bigger issues. Say again, Captain Lucian. You're breaking up. We've lost at least 30 containers. We're in danger of sinking, and the UFOs will endanger any other ships out there. UFOs? We're on our way, Captain. We'll hold on for as long as we can. Please hurry. Lucian, out. I'll contact the World Ocean's Authority and have them issue a warning. About aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Ant, UFO stands for Unidentified Floating Objects. You can't steal that name from aliens. They steal from us. Mostly cows for some reason. There's this one time Floating that... shipping containers are worse than icebergs. You can't see them till it's too late. Now that sounds like a situation requiring our immediate attention. Unless yours is more important. Uh, no. It can wait. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. ripped off Jeffrey's portable tank. I invented the Jorange. Wow, on the scale of real problems to not worth a mention problems, guess where yours ranks? Hey, I didn't create a state-of-the-art mobile tank just so Daniels can make a cheap ripoff, pass it off as his own, and then... <laughs> Breathe. <gasps> and sell it! What's all the ruckus about? Ants mad at Devil Daniels. Again. <sighs> We've got more important things to worry about than a narcissistic attention seeker like Daniels. I know, I know. It's just so annoying. We're still about an hour away. I just hope we're not too late. Keep that love coming for Bethany, folks. She's caused a huge spike in my hits. You know, she actually swam right up to me in the middle of the Southern Ocean. As if. That fish did not come from that ocean. Daniels is lying? Wow, I'm shocked. It's tropical. He bought it from an aquarium. It's a flame angelfish, a very common pet. Deep down, I know that you know that Devil Daniels has an affinity with all sea creatures. I love them, and they love me. So much love. Ugh, he is so fake. How can he claim something is his when it's not? Is that my tablet? No. And maybe. It's not the same thing. I was just borrowing it. We've arrived, Captain. What's your status? We've lost 46 containers. Some of those containers will have sunk, but the ones still floating near the surface are the worry. We'll collect your containers, Captain Lucian. Copy that, and thank you. Here we go. Looking good so far. Easy does it. Devil Daniel, <gasps> friend to all fish calling. Mm. Greetings, Nectons. Hold on a sec. Did you hear Daniels? Call back later. Or better still, don't. I heard that grave warning from the World Oceans Authority. Terrible scenario. I've come to offer my unique services. 
Seeing as you... Why would we need a circus clown? Dry humor. Love it. Ahem. Seeing as you've called, I just want to say that... Daniels, you'd be in our way. It's dangerous here. Mom! Danger is my middle name. So your name is Devil Danger Daniels. That's a mouthful. My viewers know I'm speaking figuratively. Daniels, you need to listen for once. Stay away from this area. Too late. I'm already here. Yeah, right. Oh, no. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm glad you're here, because you need to hear something. You bought one of my fish holders? Wise purchase. What? 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 Why are you sitting here wasting precious time? Those floating containers won't collect themselves. Daniels, go home. You're getting in the way. Ah, you'll thank me later. Did you see that? He's totally flaunting the fact he stole my idea. Now the Devil Daniels Eco Warrior is on the scene, everything will be fine. Unlike the Nectons, I understand that time is of the essence. You can always rely on me to do what others can't. Ouch! Huh? Oh no! That man's a nightmare! That looks like oil! Weird. Oil isn't normally shipped in containers. Mm, a slight mishap. But there's no time to cry over spilled milk. Or thick oil. I've got an important job to do. Did he seriously just do that? We've got to move fast. That oil can be lethal. Whew. I can't thank you enough, Will. Glad to have helped. We'll retrieve your fallen cargo, too. Copy that. Good news, it's not oil, it's soy sauce. Dissolving already. That's a really good thing. You two start collecting any sunken containers. We'll deal with the floating ones. On it! On it. In my many roles as monster hunter, eco-warrior, and savior of the seas, I usually don't share my unique and securely trademarked methods. But in this case, watch. Invisible one day, impossible to miss the next. Now, less humble man might call himself a genius. But I have to give some credit to Bethany for my idea. It's all for her. Who knew a fish could be so inspiring? Me. I knew. How is Jeffrey helping, exactly? You know he goes everywhere with me. Besides, he needs his exercise. Of course. <laughs> Remember? Daniels, this is Captain Lucian. Welcome, Captain. Glad to add you as a follower. I see you've secured some of my cargo. Nicely done. If you can tow them back to the Aranax. Of course. Love to help. But according to salvage law, these containers are mine now. What? My destination is a big port. New York, maybe. A much better photo opportunity. Those containers were going to Baltimore. You're stealing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call it redistribution. Daniel's out. Heads up! <gasps> Whoa! That was too close. Jeffrey, keep a lookout for any more sinking containers. And what are you? <sighs> Why do I even bother? Ah, there 
Well, it was only a matter of time. The Nectons have come to congratulate me for cleaning up the oceans. Sorry to interrupt your broadcast, but it seems you've copied my Jorange. Ah, uh, this fish holder is not a Jorange. It's a Borange. I made it up to be the first word to rhyme with orange. Uh, no, you didn't! The Jorange was first, and it rhymes with orange. Really? I'm not hearing it. Could we move this along a little? UFOs, remember? Anyway, it's your word against mine. Look, I get it. You're copying me because I'm popular. The thing is, you're a copycat and a con man. You've never had an original idea in your life. I suppose you'll accuse me of copying this next. <gasps> I call it the Bethany Chariot. Only the best for my fishy friend. You cannot be serious. The Jeffrey Knight was first. See for yourself. Listen, kid, back off. This is mine. Uh, you need to learn when to mind your own business. This is my business. Hey, that thing is totally sealed. She needs dissolved oxygen. And there's no thermometer. You know she's tropical, right? What's it even made out of? I uh, recycled some ice cream and yogurt containers. Eco Warrior, remember? I don't need fancy features. It's just for the cameras. Let me spell this out for you. Without oxygen, she won't survive. Eh, she won't be in there for long. It's just for a photo op. And Fontaine? You've been gone a while. Are you okay? We're bringing back another container right now. Come on. We're not done here. Yes, we are. Get Bethany out of that thing, or we'll be back. Thanks for dropping by. You've been warned, Daniels. Jeffrey, you keep an eye out for falling. Jeffrey? Where is he? Bethany's chariot. <gasps> he must have fallen overboard. Oh, no. Aw, she likes him. <laughs> so cute. It's only cute while she has oxygen. Jeffrey, get out of there! survive in these temperatures. She's from the tropics. You're right. Let's get to the surface. It might take some time, but acts of pure heroism are worth the wait. I should be in New York in a week. I don't expect to take a tape parade, but if you insist. What was that? What? My balloons. Is that, is that static electricity? The old balloons rubbing together trick. Who knew? No, 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 no! Maybe those cheap rubber balloons weren't the way to go. Well, this was poorly thought out. Help! Help! Here you go, buddy. Company. Aw, they're so happy together. Wow. You're totally gushing. 
What? Me? Uh, no way. I, I was just saying. Uh-huh. Daniels isn't showing up on sonar. Do we have to take Bethany back to him? Well, we're supposed to be finding sunken containers. <sighs> Mom, we were just about to call you. Devil Daniel's EPIRB distress beacon has activated. He may be sinking. We'd better look for him. What about the lost containers? Lost people take priority. I guess Daniels is a person. Just. Aranex to Captain Lucian. We're pausing to search for a stricken vessel. Copy that. I'll keep an eye out on the surface. No sign of Daniels. That weird friend of yours is a mischief maker, Bethany. But don't worry, we'll find him. What's going on, Jeffrey? Why are you looking at her like that? Are you trying to tell us something? They're fish. Fish don't talk to humans, no matter how much wishful thinking is involved. Fish can find food that's invisible to humans. So can you. True, but fish can find their family groups in the middle of the ocean. They can find shelter using their instincts alone. <laughs> Your point? If they can do that, maybe Bethany can find Daniels. <sighs> you're gonna feel pretty silly if you're wrong. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Have faith in the fish, Fontaine. <laughs> We're really letting a couple of fish lead a rescue mission. Yes, yes we are. Oh no, heads up! Watch out! I owe you one. Just one? Okay, maybe a few. Let's go follow those fish. Oh, oh, oh my little Bethany. Thank you for being there for me. Uh, you guys! Uh, I mean, loyal followers! My vessel has sunk! Send help! about to be plucked from the jaws of death. Or um, maybe not. <laughs> you can't hit me! I'm, I'm a celebrity! This can't be how it ends. I had a dream, and in that dream I had more. So much more! Help! <laughs> Warrior, I've got you. Well said. That's the last of them. Thank you. I keep saying it. But I mean it. <laughs> bon voyage, Captain. You risked your lives to save mine. Thank you. Don't forget Bethany. We saved her, too. Oh, little Bethany. My soulmate. My... Uh, where is she? Jeffrey's showing her around. Oh. Well, that's okay. If she's happy, I'm happy. You know you can't keep her, right? Is it because I lost her borange? No, it's because you're irresponsible, exploitative, and negligent. Well, that's slightly harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll take her back to the pet shop. Might as well get my money refunded. Not a chance. Now you're just being irrational. We'll be releasing Bethany in the Indo-Pacific in a healthy, abundant coral reef. Oh, sounds kind of boring. She's been used to a life of adventure. It's where she belongs. <sighs> Sure, whatever. 
The fish friend trend is probably past its use-by date anyway. Funny. Pre-orders for your Borange look like they're being cancelled at a rapid rate. What? No! Hundreds of people are demanding their deposits back. Immediately. Yes! Oh, the public. So fickle. Still, it's not a complete waste. That is a brilliant invention. Don't even think about it. I already had an idea for something just like that. You did not. Did so. I call it the Thalrus. It rhymes with walrus. Nothing rhymes with walrus. Ah, until now. <laughs> you see? I'm a genius.